Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this will be a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And if you want to get a personal reading from me, I do have a special heavily discounted for July. So do take advantage of that. And if you'd like to donate to the fundraiser, all the information is below. And I'll speak a little bit more on that at the end of the reading. So let's get into this, Virgo. The rest of July cannot even believe we're coming, winding down, getting into August. Going to be here, and for all of you, including myself, August Virgos, your birthday is coming. Of course, we have to get through Leo first, too. Okay, so let's see. You've got kisses. You have girl with a snake. Hmm, okay. I don't know how that popped in because I actually removed that card. So, let's see what else. Let's see what else. And you've got separation. Ooh, somebody's like, kiss off. <laughs> so, unconditional love, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love, girl with a snake, empath, empath, and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of future oh my goodness virgo <laughs> just love the way this is starting so okay um there's definitely some kind of relationship here someone's an empath and someone's a narcissist i'm sure all of you are going to say you're empaths and you're not narcissists so that's fine so if that's the case, then what we're looking at, here, I'm not going to, you know what, I'm not calling anybody out. Nope, I'm not doing it. There's definitely some kind of separation from a very codependent relationship where two people like cannot stay away from each other. Point blank period. Okay. That's the reading. Okay. Let's get into this. Virgo. All right. Hold on. I want to give this a nice little shuffle before we get started and i'm gonna do a celtic cross i think for today because i you know i don't want to like just focus on only love i'm gonna touch on that but i'm also gonna look at you know other areas of your life too whatever comes up okay whatever shows up for you virgo oh shoot i just i just shuffled these with reversals so you know what whatever it is what it is it is what it is okay let's take a look Okay, past position, the sun in the reverse, current. Well, that's good. Having the ten of wands in the reverse is good. Okay, the struggle, the object, the opposition, and the benefit. Queen of cups, page of cups in the reverse. Seven of pentacles reversed, everything showing up reversed. The uh, devil in the reverse going forward, which is good. Hangman in the reverse. <laughs> the the moon in reverse, two of swords, upright, and a happily ever after at the end. Okay, Virgo, let's get into this. Okay, in the past, the sun in reverse. So this is basically, I mean, it's the sun kind of going down on something in the past. So, okay, give me a second here. Let me see if I can really channel this. Um, oh, excuse me, an energy in the past of a delayed gratification, temporary depression, or a waiting, a waiting, a waiting, um, a waiting for something. Your past energy, it looks like nothing came to fruition. It was just a lot of waiting for something positive to happen, but it looks like it didn't come to fruition or it just did not happen. And I feel like as far as some kind of relationship goes, Virgo, as far as love goes, you were in some kind of like delay period with someone, okay? Something, it just didn't happen. Let me get a clarifying card for this and see if I can find out it feels mostly like the relationship itself was just delayed 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 the lid the lid the lid so possibly with a leo something just failure to launch that's what i feel oh shoot you've got the seven of swords so a lot of running away a lot of running that's a runner so someone was involved with someone 
that just could not meet someone at the finish line. It's like two people in the race to get to the end of the line and one person just kept stopping or just kept turning around and changing their mind and then jumping back in again. So it looks like a lot of that energy going on. This is, it just feels like something didn't go forward because either one or two people were running away or pushing back or sabotaging or not being present to a relationship, okay? That's all past energy. For some, it could have been sneaking around as well. There could have been deceit or betrayal, theft, a thief of hearts, it could, something along those lines, but it's all in the past anyway, so we just leave it there. What's happening now as we speak is this Ten of Wands in the reverse. So this is pretty much like no longer working towards something. This is like giving up, okay? Um, having a new start, going into recovery, forgiving, and pretty much moving on, getting freedom back, taking a break, and finally saying no. And I feel like for you, Virgo, that's, your, that's the position you're in right now. It's like just saying no. <laughs> just say no. Remember that 80s, the 80s commercial? We weren't dealing with... Um, stopping oh forget it i'm not getting into it it was just basically like it was just saying like i'm done done i'm not struggling anymore i'm not giving any more to this relationship it's just done okay what's driving the reading is the page i'm sorry let me not skip over the challenge may have been with a water sign queen of cups okay queen of cups is generally someone who um in the upright is someone who's very nurturing uh has a healing energy very supportive um tolerant full of empathy okay hmm you know what that's you now for some of you it could have been somebody else but i feel like that's you the challenge here maybe you gave too much or you're the empath okay the empath that's what the queen of cups is you being in that energy of being completely empathetic to a person place or a thing in regards to this relationship okay maybe you here the girl with the snake maybe you are an empath in a relationship with someone <clears throat> where they were very selfish and I, I don't really like I agree with you guys I mean enough with the n-word you know it's not even in the DSM right is it I don't think so but whatever the situation is to me a narc represents someone who is just self-centered like extreme anywhere on the spectrum right and you might have been catering to a person like that for a long time okay um I feel like the challenge for you is to stop being that way with the, that person. Um, but it's not easy for you to be that way because you have a good heart and you're nurturing and you're caring. Okay. Um, it's a benefit for you to keep that about yourself and not let that be destroyed. Um, because that is being empathic empathetic towards other people, being able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes, being nurturing and caring are beautiful traits. Um, if someone took advantage of that, of you, and you were like that, um, don't, don't let that change you. Okay. And it may be a challenge for you to allow yourself to be that way because somebody took advantage of you and maybe you put your dukes up. You might be in this place now where I'm done. I'm never doing that again, or I'm never getting involved with anybody else. I don't trust anyone putting my dukes up. Um, it's actually a benefit for you to be that way. And all you need really, really to do, I feel like, is to just not run and jump. You got to learn to, to, I guess, vet people first. Um, yeah. So anyway, we're not getting into all that. So I feel like the challenge for you really is to just stay who you are. Not let that thing change you. Don't let it change you. Because you're a good person. Okay. Um, now you've got the page of in, uh, the page of cups in the reverse, okay, which, which is driving you. So, um, hmm. page of cups in reverse can represent a breakup and dependence. So that I feel like which <laughs> Virgo, you you must have went through something, okay. You're in a separation for sure with someone. You might be missing that person. Maybe all the good things about them, not the bad, um, but there's a separation. Okay, and I feel like, yeah, I feel like you really did love this person. How they treated you looks like it wasn't so great, but how, or at least maybe from your point of view, but how uh, they treated you, I don't feel like, 
I mean, you really un unconditionally love someone here. Now, just let me just say something for some of you. This doesn't have to be a lover. This could be um, someone that you just have to care about. You know, it could be a family member or a friend. All right, so you put it where it resonates the most for you. Because when I talk about love, it's not always romantic. Um, but I definitely feel like it's hard for you to separate yourself uh, from someone that you truly loved, okay? Um, and what's driving you at this point, I mean, I see that you're done and you're finally saying no, but, you know, what's driving you is to see this person as a real brat or immature. Um, I feel like you see that in this person, but there is... Maybe there's a wake up here about this person being very dependent on you. Like, it's kind of an oxymoron in a way because I, I'm getting a sense like the person treats you bad, but they love you. Like, it doesn't make any sense, okay? But I definitely feel like with you, even with the Page of Cups in reverse, you're not reaching out. You're, you're determined not to send that happy birthday. You're determined not to wish them good luck on a job that you hear about. You're determined not to reach back out um, about the kids or the grandkids unless it's absolutely necessary. You're determined to cut off all communication. You're not even going to apologize. You may feel like you might need to apologize for something, but what's driving you is to not. Like it's, it's a real struggle but you are emblazoned within yourself to never reach out or to not initiate anything with this person, no matter what status they are, okay? And crowning on you, obviously, is the Seven of Pentacles, so in reverse. So I kind of feel like... Um, you're seeing this whole thing as like all this effort and work you've put into something has yielded you absolutely no reward. You you feel like you've gotten nothing out of waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to finally get it together, come correct. You, you may be looking back on this relationship where it's like, why should I reach out to this person? It's just going to be the same thing again. Um, they're selfish. They put themselves first or other people over me. Um, all the effort that I put in, what is that yielding me? Nothing. I'm getting, I've gotten nothing out of it and I'm not, it, it, it didn't go, it didn't go anywhere. It was a failure to launch. And that's really what I feel like. And when I say crowning down, I feel like this is like over you, like in your head, like your thought process, you know? Um, why should I reach out? You're not messaging anybody. You're not initiating because you know the pattern, you know that it's just going to turn into the same thing again. You haven't seen any evidence that it won't, that it will be different. You have, you haven't seen that in the past. And at this point, it looks like you're done reaching out and having crazy expectations, right? What is that old saying? Um, insanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting different results, right? So, you're done being insane. You know the drill. You know the deal. The drill. You know the drill. You know the deal. And I feel like it's really hard for you to maybe not get angry or not be vengeful um, or, or to not be. Um, and, and it's good. I mean, if you get angry, that's that's a healthy ex um, expression. Um, but I don't see you being someone who's going to resort to revenge with this person. I really feel like you're just trying to forgive and let it go. And maybe even forgive yourself for giving so much to somebody that kept letting you down. Okay. So you have some internal struggle going on for sure. And considering w what it looks like you've dealt with here, <laughs> who's to blame you, right? Who's to blame you? Um, what other people do is, you know, you, you don't have that kind of power to make anybody do anything or to not do anything. So I almost feel like you are taking the blame off yourself, forgiving yourself as well, and just saying, well, it is what it is. I mean, that is the motto. <laughs> it is what it is, right? Now, coming towards you, you've got the devil in the reverse. So this is excellent. This 
is wonderful. This is recovery. This is, for some of you, leaving an abusive situation. This is learning to have fun again. Um, it may not be abusive for some, yes, or just leaving a situation where you were giving and giving and giving until your back was broke and you got nothing out of it. So it looks like you're going through this process for the rest of July, going into August, where you are f finally releasing and, and fully recovering and getting past this. Okay, I do want to pull um, clarifying card for the devil in reverse. It's also about having fun, flirty, getting back to your fun, flirty self with other people or just in general. It's being happy again, you know, because there's a sense of no longer being oppressed or suppressed, 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 suppressed from a person, place or a thing. Okay, so this is good. This is release. This is surrender. This is like, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, clarifying card here. Yeah, new opportunities coming in. Yep, maybe it's a new job for some of you. Getting away from a really abusive boss or someone that you were dealing with or that just kept holding you down or a relationship, you know, and a new opportunity comes towards you because you release. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't come and then you release. The release is here first. Remember that. So this won't be a rebound if there's anybody else coming into your life. Releasing first is what brings the opportunity because, you know, when you hold on to something, the, the more you hold on to it, the tighter you hold on to something, um, the more closed your hand is. And you it, once you release, then your hand is open to receive something, right? So the release comes first, and then you have that open palm, to receive that golden ticket <laughs> or whatever it is that gets put in your hand here, but your palm has to be open in order to receive. So I see you letting go, okay? Which is very good and recovering and, and finally <clears throat> doing it, okay? Now, position of your advice is the hangman in the reverse. So, <laughs> I mean, it's clear as day. The position of your advice, the hangman in reverse means no more waiting, no more waiting. That's your advice. Done waiting. Don't wait anymore for somebody to get their uh, ish together. Don't wait anymore for someone to just change. Putting your life on hold for someone else to make changes in their life has got to be the most insane thing ever. You have a life to live. You were here on this planet before you ever met this person. Okay? If this is a romantic relationship. You've had a life before them and you will have a life after them. Okay? Uh, this was just the time that you spent with them. Not the greatest, but definitely refined you, for sure. Um, so let me see here. What else is your advice here? It's also um, a message here that it's time for you to get selfish about yourself, right? Um, you know, here's this person, whoever they are, who was very selfish and self-centered and they were all about them and you were possibly with that person and not being all about you but being all about them too and that was draining you now it's time for you to do what this person was doing and get selfish and kind of just look at this person and just be like you know what I'm sorry, I don't have time. I got stuff to do. I'm busy. Everything that they did to you, you now need to do with yourself, okay? That doesn't mean being mean to you. It just means taking up your sword and saying, no, me first. I'm coming first now. Very important that you do that, okay? Especially if you were in a codependent situation, especially if you were the one people-pleasing, especially if you were the one who was giving and giving and giving and giving, and, and not having any kind of reciprocity in a relationship. you if Especially if you were in that, it's time for you have to heal and bring yourself back to yourself, right? Come back to you. So that's your advice. Now, you take it if you want. It's up to you. It's just in the position of your advice. Let me see. I wanted to clarify this. No more feeling like a victim. It's time for you to be a, a traitor. <laughs> And I mean that in the like most healthy way. Yep, there you go. 
reunite with yourself. Some of you need to just get back to your family. If you were isolated in this relationship because you were so focused on it, because this person was, I, f yeah, I just get a sense that really, Virgo, you got drained because you were so focused on this person because um, you're trying to figure things out with them, what they're doing, what's going on, not understanding why they're in and then they're out, why they say they love you and then they don't show up, um, and why they're coming back in to send kisses if they do, and why they're trying to love on you again when they, they didn't act like they did. It's like a freaking mystery, like a, like so, trying to solve some kind of crime, like you're a crime stopper or something. CSI over there, Virgo. You know, no, no more of that. You might have gotten isolated because all of your mind and your energy was focused on this relationship and it, everything else around you, close to you, family, friends, everybody else got shut out because you became just, I don't know, blinders on, just completely focused on this relationship. So the Four of Wands is telling you, hey, no more waiting. You want to have a long-term happily um I don't want to say happily ever after, but a happy family, happy marriage, happy committed relationship, uh, two people who are celebrating the connection together, value each other, the 1111, the blessing. Um, that's not going to come if you are waiting for this person to change. If anything, it, the better shot of it actually happening for you is if you stop waiting for this person to change and start changing yourself. This is also a card about building a foundation, having stability. That's what those four pillars are for, to hold up the building. You have to have the basement poured before you can build the house. It's time for you to start building your house, Virgo. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just want to tell you guys that I legit just saw the King of Swords, and now I'm seeing the King of Cups. So I'm going to bring out the King of Swords because you know what? This reading is nothing unless the King of Swords is here, right? King of Swords is always here. There you go. Okay. What can I say? Okay, there's one secret that's going to come out. One thing you're going to find out, okay? You're going to get some clarity or some truth about that whoever you were with, when they weren't spending time with you, uh, they were spending time with either uh, someone of the uh, same sex, okay? Whether that was a friendship or a romantic uh, relationship that you did not know about the same sex romantic relationship that might be coming out too i mean it's this is in the position of what's external to you um which would be the other person or people okay so there's definitely going to be some truths that will reveal themselves about a king of cups and a king of swords now for some of you the other message is that this is one person who embodies the king of cups and the king of swords elements. The swords are all about the intellect and the cups are all about the emotions. Okay. But with the moon in reverse, this represents truth and clarity coming out. Okay. All right. So, okay. Give me a sec. Getting some messages here. I'm also picking up some Pisces. Could be Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Okay. Hold on. Um, there, yeah, okay. Some of you also will be receiving some either spiritual downloads or, or heavy dreams that will feel like when you wake up, like they actually happened. You may receive insight in your dreams, okay? I gotta tell you that about your person and maybe somebody else that they're connected to. Um, I feel like. You're going to get some clarity and some truth that will be revealed about this energy, about what was going on here, why things were a failure to launch, why there was a running away situation, why there was deception and lies, okay? So, yeah, some of that might be about, you know, there was another person in the picture. And for some of you... Um, if you're straight, you may find out your person's not straight, or maybe they pretended to be straight, or vice versa. Okay, now, what I want to say about 
Other than those messages, they're also telling me if this King of Cups and King of Swords is actually one person who embodies both of these elements, so they could be a water sign and have air um, predominant in their chart or vice versa. They're coming out to tell you something. Let me see what this truth is going to be. Or what will be revealed to you. What was going to be revealed to Virgo about this external party? Oh, shit. Okay. Nine of Swords. They are stressed. Why is this person stressed? Why this anxiety? They're about to break down. Four of Cups. Oh, okay. <laughs> because you, okay. Oh, shh, you got to be kidding. This person is stressed and is like having extreme anxiety because you're not offering the love, nor are you interested in it f with them, okay? Now, I don't know if you are or not. It looks like in your reading, you're just done with the whole thing. But yeah, they are like stressing out about the fact that if they offer love to you, you're not looking at it, you're not interested, or you have other options. And that you are not reaching out to them. That you're not giving that love like you used to. Boy, I bet, I bet you used to give that person some good loving and attention, Virgo. And you're not. And it's hitting them. Maybe you haven't been for a while, but it's hitting them now. They're almost at the Ten of Swords complete breakdown hitting rock bottom and i do feel like this person is going to try maybe they'll send you some little kisses through an emoji or you'll see them on the street and they blow you a kiss and it starts to trigger you in some way or something or they reach out tell you they just miss your kisses they're missing you while you guys aren't talking because you have the separation card remember that that's missing you thinking of you yeah okay this person i feels a little oh yeah see there you go Ooh -hoo. yep three of swords so heartbroken yep heartbroken maybe there was an argument or I don't know. You maybe got in a fight and hung hung up the phone or, you know, just didn't call back or something must have happened. Okay. So this person is definitely stressing. Now, look, hopes and fears. Like some of you have legit blocked this person or you just changed your phone number or you just removed yourself from being able to receive any kind of communication from them in some way. And you're not looking, you've made a decision and you're hoping you're going to stick with it. But there's a little bit like, I, I don't know. I don't really feel like, no, I don't really feel like you're fearing. Um, you might have, for somebody might have a little bit of fear that, especially if there's codependency, you might have a little bit of fear that they're going to think that you hate them and you don't want to come across that way. But you know, I mean, that's okay. You know, hopes and fears are hopes and fears. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to make your decision. Now, the interesting thing here, though, is at the outset, you've got the Ten of Cups, which is actually really positive because I feel like what that means is complete and utter contentment and happiness here with the Ten of Cups. Total love and support. Virgo, it looks to me... Like this is one of these situations where you needed to end something here with someone because it wasn't going anywhere despite how you felt about them. And it became toxic and it wasn't healthy. It, it like it got toxic within yourself and you're healing from that and you're not going back. And remember I was saying that some of you became isolated or because you were maybe so consumed with the situation. And I was saying about, you know, reconnecting with family and friends and your support group and people who, you know, are able to give you um, the strength and the courage that you need, who've got your back. I feel like you actually, like, at the end of the day, it could happily ever after. After all, <laughs> I really feel like that. There's the Two of Cups. And some of you... Um, Some of you uh, reconnect with a lover, and this might not be this person. could be another person. Yeah, you might already be married, 
Some of you might be reconnecting with your, your, your spouse in a very positive, loving way. Um, others of you may be connecting with somebody new because sometimes the Two of Cups can represent new love. Okay, romantic love, partnership, proposal, marriage, all that good stuff. This is a healing energy. This is, um, it could also be, you know, you're reconnecting with your brother or your sister or your, you, you know, if you had someone in your life who kept telling you about this person and you weren't listening, be, not because you didn't want to, but because your feelings were so strong for this person, despite what was happening, um, you're reconnecting with that person, like all apologies are made, there might be this, you know, you were right, and it was really hard for me, and you guys kind of get into this healing energy as well, okay, some of you reconnecting with your friends again, like I said, or some family members, or a new lover, you know, I don't see, that. so when I do my readings, like the way this is going out, it kind of like has to blend into like a progressive story, honestly, I don't, I don't see this person and you coming back together. It wouldn't make sense. This is like a total shift at the end here where everything kind of changes, you know, because you're done. You're healing. New opportunity coming in for you. This could be somebody new as well. So, you know, it is what it is, Virgo, but it looks to me like, you know, even if you don't want this thing to be done, you're doing it anyway. You're doing it anyway because you're tired of struggling with that Ten of Wands. You've turned that Ten of Wands reversed. It was in the upright with for you with this person, okay? Stress, mental stress, physical stress, exhaustion, a complete burden, too many problems. Too many problems connected to that this person was bringing into your life. I don't feel like they were bringing benefit to your life. They were bringing problems, and obstacles in your life, at least, you know, from what I'm seeing here, which is why it makes sense that you are not even going to try to initiate because they're just welcoming more problems again. And why it makes sense that, you know, crowning down in your thoughts is, is like, it's just not worth it. It's not that you never feel the person isn't worth it, like who they are for the, the good parts, right? But you're able to see, okay, well, the, the bad, it's the cost versus benefit. And you're able to see how much you have paid to not receive any benefit in this situation. You've actually paid more and got very little from it, from it except the heartache and pain. And, and you know, this person, all you were giving, and they weren't giving anything back, they were riding high on the horse because of that. But now they're the one who's in the position of suffering and you're up on the horse now because you've refrained, you've decided, you've reined it in, it looks like, and you're reining it in in July. Where you're, it, right now you're reining it in and going forward, you're healing from that, okay? And this, this person now is, you know, they're gonna, there will be a reveal. They're heartbroken. They're completely like destroyed. You know, you broke their heart. But I mean, <laughs> I don't feel like you did it intentionally. I mean, sometimes in order to save ourselves, hearts are going to get broken. You know, it, it, I don't feel like you went out st stabby. You know, I just feel like your thing is, you know, like every time you were loving somebody, you kept getting stabbed for it. And it looks like you're pulling the swords out and you're taking care of yourself now. And you're no longer waiting for this person to get it together to stay consistent and progress with you because it wasn't going anywhere. So now they're, you know, they're in this position here where now all those swords just they had to go somewhere. It looks like they went right back into them. That's what they were bringing is heartbreak. And and the reveal is like, I'm really stressed. That's what I feel like this person will be telling you. I'm really stressed. I broke, you know, I, yeah, I broke your heart. I'm really stressed that you broke my heart. You know, um, I, I want to keep loving you, but you're not available anymore. You know, and, and if this is someone who is very selfish, they're just selfish because now they can't take advantage of you anymore, you know, and that's what's breaking them, their heart and uh, boo hoo, boo freaking who? It's not a privilege. Yeah, look, death card. Okay, you're done. There you go. It's over. You shut the door. Virgo. I mean, I'm proud of you. You know, I mean, this might not seem like the best message, but it is a fantastic message that you are making this decision f to save yourself because you're no good to anybody if you can't take care of yourself, right? So this is the blessing in this message. It's not really about what the other person does or other people do. It's about what you do with yourself and how much you love yourself, right? Virgo, I'm just like so proud of you. Yay! 
Okay. Let's keep it moving, y'all. Let's keep it moving. What do we want here? Messages of love. Wait. Yes. Okay. Messages of love for Virgo. There you go. There you go. Pop right out. Do you see that? Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? That's the question that you're asking yourself. That's what you're asking yourself. Does this work for me? Uh, you must have had some kind of wake-up call. I think you just became, maybe you hit rock bottom. You just, you just so much stress and struggle. Now it's like not even about love at this point. In July, it's the rest of July, it's like, you know what? Does this person, like, are we even in alignment? I don't think we are. You know, Virgo, you might be saying to yourself, maybe I was trying to force this person to align with me. And they, they never had it to begin with. They weren't capable. Okay? They weren't capable to align with you. And I think you... You probably knew that, but you wanted them to align with you. You wanted this, but it's okay, Virgo. Maybe you held on a little bit too long to someone that wasn't, you know, uh, yeah, and they're missing you. Oh, don't think for two seconds. They're not crying tears at night, stressing about it. They might put on a good game face during the day. Like, oh, maybe they even have somebody else and they're acting like everything's great, you know? And no, nope, look. I'm telling you, when I start talking, spirit's like, let me just back up what Kelly's saying. <laughs> because you've got self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Yeah, you need that time out here for recovery. Do that self-care thing. Take care of yourself. Very good energy. Okay. <laughs> well, just like yesterday, apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. Well, good. Okay, that's fine. Thanks, an avocado later yeah okay so they apologize but does it mean anything to you will it mean anything to you i don't know virgo um but be careful of that apology because if you're still hooked on this person and you're trying to get free that apology is going to set you back that apology is going to set you right back to where you were that i know i was wrong i know i treated you really badly i'm really sorry will you take me back that apo that's the pu that's somebody bringing you a puppy that's using that lover tactic and I only say that, like, listen, we're talking about someone here who is not normal, okay? And even if this person wasn't the end, or they weren't, you know, extremely selfish or what have you, even if somebody does apologize, apology is only half of the battle. The other half has to be the amends, okay? So some, anybody could say they're sorry, anybody, but... Do they take steps to make change? That's what matters. That's what counts. Apo See, we always talk about the apology, but we don't ever talk about the amends. You know, the next card should be, I, I'm sorry, and I want to make it up to you. And I want to show you how I'm going to make this up to you. I want to show you that I'm changing. If you'll give me the opportunity. And if you tell that person no, and they stop trying to change, then you know it was all fake. You got to like, let it ride out. But that's if you want to, okay? I'm just talking in general here. You know, apology is like, I know I did this. I'm really sorry. What can I do to make it up? How can I better change? How can I better make things better between us? I'll do anything, whatever it takes. I'll leave those people. Um, I'll fire that person. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll stand up to all these other people or this other person. I'll, I'll make the change and you'll see it and you'll know it. And over time, the trust can get built back again. But... That, first of all, you got to want it. And second of all, it has to, this apology has to come with amends. And if it doesn't, it's just manipulation. Okay? But here you have unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. So, you know, that is a possibility. Why? Because you're on different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. And I feel like you probably knew that. Um, but you probably love the person anyway, and you have a good heart, <clears throat> excuse me, and <clears throat> you were hoping for the best, and that's why I say you can't let that aspect of you um, go away. You can't. You should always hope for the best, and you should always love people despite their flaws, okay? Because that's how we would want to be treated, right? Because Lord knows we all have our flaws. We want people to see the wars within us and come over and take up the sword alongside of us and help us fight those battles, right? And that's a good, noble thing to do when you love someone. And other people should, who claim to love you ought to be doing the same thing. And if they're not, eh. Not mean? Not mean, jelly bean? Okay. So let's see. Okay, you've got an emotional wish being granted. Very good. Whatever you've been, you know, uh, the wish that you wish when you blow out those candles on your cake, 
this August, this September, that's the wish that will be granted. So there's an old saying that I have to add. Be careful what you wish for, Virgo. Make sure it's a good one. There's only one. So think about it. What do you wish for most in this world? Okay. Popular social female. Maybe you wish to be popular if you're a female. Could be something. Maybe you wish to be famous. Cupid's arrows, love messages, travel. You could be wishing for to travel. You could be wishing for uh, to get some love messages or someone to communicate their love for you or someone to just be like head over heels for you. You could be wishing for that. They're going to come true. I feel like the message though is wait until you blow up. Make sure you blow up birthday candles in, on your cake. If nobody has a cake for you and nobody puts candles on your cake, go down to the store, get yourself a cupcake, stick a candle in it, light it, sing happy birthday to yourself and make your wish yourself. Okay. Arguments and separation in the reverse. So some of you might be wishing for all this fighting to stop, whatever that might be, however that might mean for you. Okay. And you might be wishing to better trust your intuition as well. The answer lies deep within you, trusting spirit, waiting for answers to be revealed to you. Trust me, Virgo. Well, if you want, uh, the answers will be revealed to you. The truth will be revealed. Some of you, the truth is that this party, uh, this person had, um, oh, I just feel like maybe talking to others or talking to somebody else and maybe you couldn't confirm it or you had a hunch no, basically just not making you a priority and that will get revealed and, and now that you're no longer an option for somebody here um, well yeah they're butt hurt oh well what are you gonna do hey eye for an eye am a fur no I don't really believe in revenge I just think karma does its job that's all things go the way they're meant to go and that's just the way it is. Uh, we don't have that. I, I like personally, I would screw up any revenge tactics I try to take on anybody. I mean, I'm always like, you know what? I, I'm going to F this up somehow if I do this. Just I'm going to let God handle it because I don't have time to keep being immersed in this craziness. I got things to do. I got to get my nails done. I got to go to the gym. I got all this stuff I'm doing. <laughs> that's just me. That's just how I feel about that. Okay. So. Let's get into the Chinese signs. Look at you and look at this person. All right. Chinese signs for Virgo. Virgo and this person. Okay. Some of you, like I have to say, this could be like a friendship as well. A friend who turns out to actually not be a friend. And they started some trouble. There could have been like you this person and a, and a third party friend thing where there was some trouble and you know or it could have been a work situation it could have been a romantic it could have been a family situation with siblings or aunts and uncles and other people or in-laws or something along those lines okay year of the goat ironic year of the snake started with a snake year of the horse year of the monkey Year of the dragon, year of the pig, year of the ox, year of the pig again, and year of, we said the horse twice, and year of the rooster, okay? You, this person, and if you and this person, or just you is not there, it's it's all still your reading, okay? Always remind, um, I always try to remind you guys of that, okay? Let's see what other messages there are here for you. Okay, somebody's definitely a rabbit as well, born in the year of the rabbit. Okay, oh yeah, okay, somebody was gambling or is going to be gambling, um, playing poker, um, shuffling the deck, spinning some dice, rolling some dice. Um, we have the initial S, we have a Q. Um, somebody was born in May. Could be a Taurus or Gemini. Okay, somebody's 54 years of age. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just heard the word mix. So maybe somebody mixes. Could be a baker or a DJ. Remix. <laughs> Remix. That's like. What was that? 
throat medicine, throat cough drops, Regalo. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm losing my mind. I don't know. I just hear that. Um, okay. Anyway, moving on. We have the initial P <clears throat> and uh, dragon wing, dragon wing, significant for something. All right. Initial C. Um, someone is 58. Huh. Now, hold on. Just hold your horses there, Virgo. Yeah, taking responsibility for your life. Walking out that door. I see someone walking out a door. They have no idea where they're, what they're heading into. Or they're just not 100% sure what's on the other side. But walking out that door anyway. Okay. Next. Huh. Initials. C.S. Like C.S. Lewis. Lewis. C.S. C as in cowboy. S as in Sam. Samuel. Samantha. Okay. Oh. Wise counselor. That reminds me of a, um, a Christmas song. It's a... Um, I used to be in a church choir, and there was a song about wise counselor. Does anybody know? I can't remember. It was so long ago. But we sung it around Christmas. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm just picking that up, like a choir. We're singing, like, um, hymns or biblical songs. Wise counselor. And Now, it could just also be for some. This might be a message for you about um, your counselor that you're seeing is very wise and good for you to listen to. Means well for you. Okay. Oh, CSV. Isn't that something to do with a resume? CSV. Um, okay. Somebody's creating a resume or doing something with a resume, sending it out. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's a beautiful message. Stand up for what you believe and you will win if your position is one of integrity. People who act with integrity always come across as credible, reliable, stable, and winners. Like they win in situations. People who are the opposite of that, like they're freaking out. Everybody's like, all right, we're, we're just going to back out the door like Simpson does when he goes into the bush. Like we're out. So whatever your position is right now, maintain your position with integrity and you will be the victor is what I'm hearing. Okay. Oh, and here's the moon. One last one. Okay. So we have the letter H. We also have an R. Initial H and an R. Um, hmm. And I'm also picking up September 18th. September 12th. The 15th. The 8th. 7th. September 5th. Okay, I know I usually do these with the the uh, the die, but I'm giving it to you now. Okay, but I am going to do the die. Okay, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio. Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so September 21st, we've got the 17th. Um, hmm, August 25th and 24th, also the 29th and the 26th, and someone's born in 1970, and did I say September 17th? Because I'm picking that up again. Okay, let's see. September 1st, holla. Okay, somebody's born in 1975. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. We also have someone who is 35 years of age. Um, okay, they're telling me this is like a house number or apartment number 520. And four digits of a last phone number are 1091. Okay. Nineteen eighty six. Oh, gosh. 
Um, 2019, significant year for someone. Um, somebody is 31. All right, they're giving me four numbers. No, wait, okay, wait, here you go. 508 and also 16126. So it's sixteen twelve six. Okay. Yeah, so um, yesterday I made a mistake. I thought I said that it was six million was the lottery, but no, it's one billion. So I'm gonna give you some lottery numbers for anyone who did it already did they do it already or is it Thursday? So I don't know, because I, I normally don't buy tickets, but I don't keep track. So if it hasn't happened yet, take these numbers. And if it has happened, use them for next time. If nobody wins. All right, now let me get these together. And you can switch them up however you like. Remember that. Now, how many numbers are there? One, okay, hold on you guys, hold on. Oh, that was an eight. Let's keep it the way it is now, Kelly girl. Keep it the way it is. Okay. I don't know what the numbers go. Okay, they just said to turn that. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Is it six numbers? It's a Powerball, right? Okay. All right, you ready? Two, eight, 11, 49, 60, 56, and I guess the Powerball is eight. Okay, I'm gonna play that. I, do I have a pen? I don't have a pen. Can someone put it in the comments so that I can remember to like go back and check on? Don't even have to, I'll figure it out. And I'll just do one charm and then I'll let you guys go. Cause it's, wow, almost 55 minutes. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is so weird. <gasps> Are you kidding? I said dragon wing and I pulled a dragon and there's a wing. Maybe someone's a dragon, you're of the dragon. Dragon wing is significant or at least a dragon. I think this little fella stands up. Any cute? Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, cause it's turned. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, there you go. Dragon wing is significant. So I don't know if it's like, you're gonna be eating wings, hot wings that have dragon fire. Dragon fire wings are like super, super hot. Um, or you're just like a fire-breathing dragon out there, Virgo. You're just like, ah, <laughs> taking life, just burning whatever it's, it's in your path. Okay, cool. So you also have an elephant. And we had elephants the other day, but again, elephant is significant for wisdom and good luck and gentility and kindness. Okay, something you might be embracing within yourself. And you also have a fairy. So... Okay, they just they just told me the movie Nefarious. Somebody needs to watch that. Yeah, the movie. I know it's a fairy, but someone is saying nef they're saying not someone. I don't know. Maybe it is somebody. The voice I'm hearing, Nefarious. There's a movie. Um, I don't know. If you've watched that movie or know what I'm talking about, leave a comment or you can leave it in the chat or leave a comment and let me know if you saw it. And I don't know if that's something to do with this reading. Um, but also the fairy does represent, you know, some kind of, to me, like kind of like a little angel on your shoulder, watching over you, guiding you. Okay. If you believe in angels, that's definitely for you. Okay. So I'm going to leave that reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, hard to say it's for entertainment when it seemed like it was kind of serious but take it as it resonates if you want some really positive energy go back to Sunday's reading because that was that felt that was good I got tingles and had good vibes with that reading so go back if you need that pick me up kind of energy because that was very positive for you guys especially if you're dealing with this kind of stuff um yeah so I'm gonna leave it there again if you want to help uh support rescuing children who are trafficked or rescuing children who have gone missing or to donate to find them there's a link here on my channel 
Uh, there's a fundraiser button. You can click that, donate whatever you want. You guys have been donating, and I'm super, super excited and really appreciate that you've been doing that. You've also been donating to the Missing Children uh, Fund as well. There's a link in the description box for that. It takes you to my website and then leads you right to the donation page. So keep it up, you guys. Let's. We're trying to get I'm trying to get up to like, I think it's $5,000 by October, I think it is. So, you know, every little bit helps. I, I don't care if it's only like a penny. That's all you can give. If you can, I know times are tough. If you can give a dollar, if you can give $20 or more, whatever, it's all up to you. I'll still love you no matter what. So yeah, thank you all in advance for doing that. And yeah, personal reading link is in the description box below. Get the July discount and I will see you all back here tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow, you're always a day away. All right, bye. My heart.